how to make money with online coaching so you want to be a coach huh you want to make some money online with online coaching well you know what now is the best time ever in the history of forever right <laughs> to be a coach because people have now gotten accustomed to doing things online more so than ever before in this video i'm going to talk to you about how i make up to two thousand dollars an hour online coaching and how you can make money online coaching too and we're starting right now hey i'm jr fisher welcome to my channel if you're new here make sure you subscribe hit that subscribe button down here right there you'll see it big subscribe button and once you do it it's going to do something magical it's going to change colors and once it changes colors it's going to do something else magical a bell is going to appear right next to it and then what you want to do is ring the bell why why would you want to ring the bell it's so noisy well it's because you'll become part of the fisher family part of the vip group that gets notified every single time i do one of these videos every single time that's pretty cool you're in front of the line you're special you're vip pretty cool stuff don't forget also i have a 97 dollars course down in the description it's absolutely free it's click and learn no credit card required you'll want to check that out so let's talk about this coaching thing you want to be a coach right i never set out to be a coach but it came across my desk one day that people were making money coaching and i thought to myself hey i wonder if i could do that i wonder if i could make money doing that so i studied it and put together a program and it worked pretty well and i want to share that with you first off you have to make your time valuable and i don't mean you have to charge tons and tons of money which i did ultimately end up doing but what i mean is if your time is always available nobody's going to think you have value if you're trying to sell a coaching program and the person says hey i want to talk to you on the phone about you know, i want you to coach me on facebook ads i want you to coach me on exercise whatever it is and you say sure i'm open all week next week when do you want to do it they're going to say well this person's not very busy so the first thing you got to do if you're going to be a coach is you have to make your time valuable okay you could have maybe one or two spots next week and i would also recommend that you have those spots on uneven hours so you'd never have an opening at 1 p.m you may have one at 1 20 and one at 2 35 okay and it's a 15 minute consultation or it's a 30 minute or whatever you want it to be those are the things you need to do in addition to that if anybody wants to get coaching from you they will need to fill out an application okay now i have an application online that they fill out uh, and it, it, it answers certain questions for me. It lets me know, do they have a business going yet? Are they generating any money? Do they have money problems? Do they have credit problems? Um, do they understand that I do charge for my coaching? And after I do a consultation with them, I'm going to offer them coaching. And are they prepared to pay for coaching if we decide to work together? And I also let them know, I don't decide to work with everybody. And all these things are true. If you just go into a conversation and you sit down with somebody and you don't tell them all these things up front you could be dealing with somebody who has no money for coaching they just want to get a free consultation um, and i don't mind doing free consultations but i want that prospect qualified i want them to be able to pay me if they don't have the ability to pay me why would i want to talk to them why would i want to do that okay so that's the first thing you got to do you're going to have um, appointments that are very specific you're going to have a application they got to fill out and in filling out that application something else i have them do is when they have a business which I, I only work with people that do have businesses but when they do have a business i ask them for the website i ask them for their facebook page i ask them for everything about that business so i can go out there and actually look at their business i look at when that web page was started if it was started a week ago okay they don't have much going for them if it was started a few years ago okay there may be something there I ask them what their profits are on their business so far. If they aren't making any profit and they're still on a job, they may not be able to pay you. Do you want to talk to people like that? I know I don't. Okay. I just don't. Um, I don't give free consultations to people who don't qualify. So once I've done all that and I've gathered all that information, I look at their web page, I look at what they're doing and I decide, you know, myself, can I help this person? Is there anything I can do for them? If I get there and it's something super complicated that has to do with electrical engineering and marketing to electrical engineers, I know nothing about that. That's not something I'm going to help them with. So I'm not going to take that consultation. I'm not going to try to coach that person. I'm not going to sell them my services because that's not something I'm good at. So that's the other thing I would tell you is don't try to sell your services to somebody if you're not really good at it. Okay. If that's not something you do. 
so what I do when I sit down with them and I go through the presentation I've done and what I do is I put together a presentation and it is tailored to that individual that I'm gonna meet with and I've looked at their website and I know what they're doing and I find some things I can correct and I give them some good information I tell them right up front I say even if we decide not to work together and I'll let you know at the end if I decide to work with you because I don't pick everybody to work with which is very true um, I'm gonna give you some information that you can take and use and improve your business is that fair enough and I ask them that question and the next thing I do is I tell them I say I'm gonna go through a presentation today I want to make sure that whatever decision makers are actually on this call are there any decision makers that would be involved that aren't on this call right now and if they say yeah I need to check with my wife I need to check with my husband I'll say great let's reschedule when that person is available so we can move forward I never do a presentation if all the decision makers aren't there in addition to that I let them know I only offer my services one time what I mean by that is at the end of this conversation mr. or mrs. Jones um, if we decide to work together which I don't decide to work with everybody as a matter of fact I decide to work with a very small percentage are you able to make a decision today to move forward okay because I only offer this to you once and if you can't make a decision today then let's not move forward or if you do say no today I will not offer it to you in the future do you understand that and I let them know that right up front it's very important I don't want to go through a one-hour presentation with somebody so they can say well, let me think about it and I'll call you back next week no I don't do that you're gonna make a decision on this call today and if you can't make a decision on this call today there's no point in me really doing a presentation for you does that make sense because I don't want to waste your time and I don't want to waste my time and some of you say well that, that's gonna make me feel a little uncomfortable to say that you're gonna feel a lot more uncomfortable if you do 20 presentations at an hour each and everybody tells you they want to think about it right so we don't do any think about it it's either you want to work with me or you don't I don't get my feelings hurt if you don't and if you do want to work with me I'll decide if I want to work with you but there is no maybes to the end of the conversation is that fair enough can you agree to that and I make sure they say yes okay and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into my presentation that presentation is gonna demonstrate that I've done some research on them that I know something about them that I know about their website I know when it started I know what they're selling um, that I can help them and I'm gonna give them some good suggestions that they can do maybe it's website suggestions maybe it's email marketing maybe it's product suggestions they could add maybe it's funnel suggestions but I'm gonna give them suggestions that will actually move their business forward whether or not we decide to work together or not because that's what I promised them I'm gonna give them value very important that you do that now the next part is people are concerned about you know, how much do I charge you know, how much do I charge somebody JR well the first thing you got to look for is in your market so if let's say you're a life coach uh, and I know life coaches out there and they're getting maybe 30 to 50 dollars an hour to be a life coach okay it's not a very expensive coaching proposition when I first started out I was charging I want to say a couple hundred to maybe five hundred dollars per call but I didn't do one or two calls because I knew I couldn't help somebody with one or two calls my requirement was that you work with me for at least six months it's a six-month commitment okay and I'm gonna do one call a week or you know one call every two weeks whatever we decide on and you're gonna pay a flat fee per month in between those calls you're allowed to email me with questions I will let you email me up to four times a week or five times a week whatever it is I never did have anybody max that out um, so I never did really have a problem with that but I, I set all the parameters I said you know we're gonna do this many calls I'm gonna require that you work and we have to have a six-month contract now the two ways I would present my contract uh, and I think I started out I did start out at um, the payments came out to around nine thousand dollars for six months or you could pay a flat amount of six thousand up front later on I changed that to where it was like fifteen thousand dollars for six months or twelve thousand dollars up front so I, I up my rates considerably and then later on I did some corporate things and I was getting two thousand dollars an hour to do it which was really nice but the point is you can charge whatever your value is if you have good value if you know things that other people want to know and they want to learn you can charge for it okay there's nothing wrong with that the next question is okay JR I know how to present it I know how to sit down and do this presentation with people how do I find people that want to work with me how do I do that well you've got to give value to the market I'll tell you that right now you're going to have to go out there and give value you can do this through social media you can do this through well social media is YouTube but you can do that through YouTube videos but 
what you need to do is go out and demonstrate that you know things and some people say well i don't have to do that it's so much work to have to do that you can also run ads if you want um, i like doing uh social media I, I enjoy doing that i enjoy doing a video right now you're watching a video and if you want a course on how to make money online you know i have them they're down there in the description you can check them out um, i do some coaching now but very little because it takes up my time uh, and it's very expensive it's not cheap so the people that come to me have to have something going on in their life if they don't have something going on in their life they're not gonna be able to afford me anyhow so i don't do a lot of that type of coaching and still at two thousand dollars an hour which sounds great um, it, it's not something I really want to invest my time in. I'd rather spend an hour and do three videos on YouTube that are going to last me for years that are gonna make me money for years than to spend one hour with a person. I also, and you'll run in this too, get really frustrated with people who don't do anything. I can't count how many people have paid me money and they haven't followed through on the things I told them to do. Okay. Uh, I've literally had one guy who took two calls. He paid me for six months in advance and then he just disappeared. Okay. I've had two people do that okay and you know they paid me up front and I make sure I have a contract that's one thing I will add to this make sure you have a contract and it spells out that you're not going to guarantee that people are going to make money or lose weight or get smarter or be happier or anything um, that you know you're going to provide them the information and if they apply it you found that most people get good results however you can't promise anybody results and I can't emphasize that enough you can't promise anybody results and you can't promise anybody results for one reason it's not that your information is not good it's not that your information is not great it's that you can't control what they're going to do most people maybe not you but most people don't follow through they just don't they don't follow through that's why they're in jobs because at a job they're forced to show up and be there and do something but on their own they don't follow through there's nobody forcing them to do anything there's nobody making them sit down in a room and work eight or ten hours a day so they tend to screw off okay today i'm shooting videos i'm shooting this video and i'm showing you how to do coaching but today this is the 11th video i've done okay so it's a lot of videos it's a lot of time it's a lot of you know effort most people aren't going to do that but some of you out there will and you can take this video and you can apply it you can get clients do blog posts do videos on what your content is and then tell them in the link below if you want more information you can fill out an application and i can coach you you can fill out an application and i can decide if i want to coach you you can download my pdf and you can put them on your list and then maybe you could send them an application an invitation to be coached by you there's a lot of ways you can go about it but bottom line is if you're listening to this you got to work first okay you got to put in the effort first you don't get the results without the effort it doesn't happen you can also start facebook pages that cover a particular subject particular topic it could be anything from you know dog training my wife has that i have one that's e-commerce uh, and people can go there and get information from you on a regular basis and then a portion of those people are going to want more training they're going to want a course they're going to want coaching you can also do group coaching which i have i have my inner circle link down there you can check that out there's a free video you can watch look down there jr inner circle and you can go to that link and you can see all you get there because i give away software i give away training all that and that's in the link below also so there's a lot of ways to get your information out there but bottom line you got to put forth some effort you can also run ads you can run ads and you can tell people that they can get a free session with you in that free session you can sell your coaching um, that's another simple way to do that if you want to learn how to run ads i have videos on this channel that will teach you how to also run those ads so that's an overview of you know how i've done coaching how you can do coaching and like i said I've made up to two thousand dollars an hour doing coaching which is pretty good uh, i think um, but you can do the same thing if you're good at something and if you're not good at something what can you get good at you can get good at anything if you try you just gotta go get good at it you gotta watch more videos hey you could stay on this channel right now and watch a lot of videos on making money online and you could actually get good at that don't forget if you haven't subscribed hit that subscribe button down there don't forget there's a bell next to it you gotta ring the bell you gotta turn on all bell notifications every single one of them how many are there well every time I do a video it's not that many not that many but you'll know because I'll be able to notify you when I go live when I do a new video you'll be part of the Fisher family part of the VIP group that gets notified every single time I do something on YouTube don't you want that to happen sure you do you want to be in front of the line you want to be ahead of everybody else and if you really want to propel your business check out this video right here this is an awesome video that will help you really grow your business thank you so much put your comments below give me a thumbs up thumbs down and I'll see you in the next video